Hey guys, how's it going? This is Autobot JCB here again for another How to Transform video. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on with the Transformer Cybertron series because today I'm going to be showing you how to transform the 2005 Transformer Cybertron Soundwave and Sideways. Now, as you guys can see here, Soundwave and Sideways have these very unique vehicle modes. Uh, Soundwave, I believe, is some type of stealth bomber, obviously with a few bells and whistles added to them. And then Sideways appears to be some type of deep, deep space, uh, space spaceship. Now, one thing you guys will notice is that these guys come with these unique orange cyber planet keys. That is because these guys are from the planet X. Now, uh, my understanding with the planet X is that it was destroyed by Unicron and the, um, and that sound, sound wave and sideways are, I think they said that they are the last two survivors of their planet and um, before their planet was destroyed, they had a huge fight. They, they got into a um, a war with the planet Gigantion, which is the home of Metroplex, Quick Mix, and Menasaur. Um, and if if I remember correctly, they wanted the Omega Lock and the Cyber Planet Keys in order to restore their planet. Uh, if I am uh, if I misunderstood that, I do apologize. But anyway. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over a couple of features that these guys have while they're in their vehicle mode, and then we will get on to transformation. So for right now, I'm going to move sideways off to the side, and we're going to bring Soundwave in for a close-up. Like I said, Soundwave's vehicle mode appears to be some type of stealth bomber, uh, heavily modified, obviously. Uh, you will notice that right on the top here, he's got this uh, unique symbol. I'm assuming this is the Planet X insignia, and if you look at sideways... He also has a similar uh, insignia, uh, even though his isn't quite as detailed. I think that's just because it's actually smaller. Uh, if you actually flip Soundwave over, you will notice that he has the traditional Soundwave uh, chest plate right here. And what I like is that he's got these missile pods right here, and you can actually remove these. And if you want, you can actually reverse them onto the other side, just like that. And then, so we'll just we'll set this off the side. Now, what I want to do is I want to actually show you how this works, because this right here, it won't just open by itself. You actually have to insert his cyber planet key. And when you do, he will turn into, or actually that didn't quite work. I apologize. But anyway, when you insert the cyber key, this, this right here is actually supposed to pop open and will reveal another canister. And this right here is actually laser beak, which I think is pretty cool that he can actually he actually comes with laser beak. I thought that was a really neat uh, add-on for this character. We'll just set him off to the side for right now. Um, I especially love that the the amount of detail on these guys is actually really great. Like I said, the uh, insignia is really cool. I love that they have it kind of with this inlaid gold painting. Uh, and then they have this kind of uh, armor, this etched painting, uh, gold painting inside in the armor. Uh, you'll notice that he's got this transparent uh, window for the cockpit for his uh, shuttle mode. Um, I will show you what, there's actually a seat in here and I will show you that as we progress. And then of course he's got the, uh, silver and gold on the, on the tail, on the stabilizers right there, his cyber key ports right there. And then of course, if you look right here, you'll see he has his traditional Decepticon insignia right there. Um, I have to admit the sound wave design that they came out with for the Cybertron series, even though it looks interesting, I will actually say that it. Uh, definitely looks unique compared to some of the other traditional versions of Soundwave that we have seen throughout the years. But anyway, so there's Soundwave. All right, so now we'll set him off the side and we'll bring Sideways in. Now, my understanding with Sideways is that this version of Sideways is the same Sideways character that we saw in Transformers Armada. That is what I heard. I don't know if that it has ever been confirmed or not. That's just what I heard a, a while, a long time ago. Uh, and of course, you'll notice that sound, uh, Sideways has the Autobot symbol right here, even though he is neither an Autobot nor Decepticon. Uh, what, what's kind of cool about him is that if you actually take this whole section right here, and it will actually come up on a little double hinge, if you fold that up and insert his Cyber Planet key you'll see that his symbol changes from the Autobot to the Decepticon symbol. And when you click in the key, it will lock that and extend these arms for some type of aerial attack, just like that. I have to admit, I love that they 
um, that they gave this version of Sideways the same gimmick that the Armada version had, where with the Armada one, you would actually insert one of his two Minicons, and it would reveal either the Autobot symbol or the, or the Decepticon symbol, whereas this, he his Cyber Key does the exact same thing. And there's just... Just like with the other, just like with the Armada version, there's just this little orange, this little black tab right here, and it just slips down and slides back and forth. I have to admit, I love that detail, um, which makes me ma makes it more believable that this is actually the same sideways as Transformers Armada. And then, of course, like I said, he's got the uh, Planet X insignia right here on the front, right here on the uh, the root, the canopy of the cockpit. I especially love that he's got this green, silver, and black, and the orange uh, paint scheme. The um, And then he also has, I think these right here are supposed to be little wheels, but they don't really turn very well. Um, but I especially love the unique design that they gave Sideways for the Cybertron series. But anyway, so there is Sideways. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move him off to the side again, and we're going to bring Soundwave back in because now it is time for your guys' favorite part, and that is transformation. Now, for Soundwave, his transformation is interesting. Um, there's a lot of flipping around with him. So what we'll do is we're going to start by grabbing the canopy of the ship right here, and we're going to pull it off of these pegs, the pegs that are right here, right here, and then there's a port right here on the front that the peg on the underside of the canopy will actually detach from just like that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab right here and right here, and we're going to pull these off to the side just like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fold the wings down, and we're going to flip this whole section up out of the way just like this. So next thing we'll do is we'll flip them over. And as we do, make sure you take this piece right here, flip it out, and then what you can do is flip his legs forward, flip that down, and it will click into place. There it goes. And then we'll go ahead and bring his legs down, straighten them, and turn them. So I'll bring the leg down, straighten it. And these do have some heavy duty ratchet joints, which is nice. So we'll straighten his leg and turn his leg. And there we already have Soundwave's legs. The next thing we'll do, we'll come right here and we'll flip up his foot right here, which will also reveal the heel for his, uh, bot, for his bot mode. Flip up the other foot. And there's the other heel right there. And then what we'll do is we'll flip these plates down just like this. And then make sure these two black plates are flipped down to his side. So already, he's already halfway done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back around to the front just like this. And we're going to take this whole section right here. And we're going to disconnect it from this peg right here. And bring it off to the side just like this. And bring his arm out just like that. And then what we'll do is we'll come in here. Now this part can be a little challenging because there are pins that hold this piece in, but if you push up hard enough with your thumb, it will pop free and allow you to fold it out on his other shoulder. And I did not get that out far enough. There is actually a uh, double hinge right here. Uh, if you guys see right there, there's a hinge, there's a hinge right here, and there's a hinge right here. Make sure you have that folded all the way out, otherwise you will not have the clearance to get his other shoulder out. And both of his arms are on double hinge joints. So we'll get those folded out all the way just like that. And now what we'll do is we'll get his arm folded out first. And then we'll bring this all the way back. And line it up on his back just like this. Uh, I think I might have gone out of camera frame. I apologize. So what I did was we got his arms folded out. And then we bring this whole section and fold it all the way around. Make sure his shoulders give him the clearance and line that up on his back just like that. And then what we'll do is we'll come right here and you'll see that there are peg holes right here and here. We'll go ahead and fold his arm in and snap that in. Go ahead and turn his arm and get that all squared away. And we'll come right here. We're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, you'll see that there is a peg and a, and a peg hole right there. Go ahead and fold that shoulder in, click it in place and bring his arm down and then Flip this around behind his arm, just like that. And then, of course, you guys will notice Soundwave's head hasn't folded in yet because it's right here. We'll just fold it down. And it just kind of hugs into that uh, spot right there. And then we'll spin his head around to reveal his face. 
And there we have Soundwave. Um, now I know that there is another version of this uh, release that was actually actually has silver mold uh, painted into the face. I really wish I could have gotten my hands on that one, but hey, this one is still really cool. And I especially love that he has all his uh, little odds and ends and toys. So for right now, so there's Soundwave. We're going to move him off the side for a minute. And we're going to now bring in Laserbeak. Now, Laserbeak, like I said, he's just this little canister that uh, can be uh, put into Soundwave's chest. Now, these other canisters, um, these other pieces will actually, uh, can actually be folded up and be put in his chest as well. It's whatever your preference is. Um, here, before I do laser beak, we'll actually do these. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these up. So ordinarily they'd start like this, just like canisters. Uh, when they're in, when he's in his vehicle mode, what you'll do is you'll have this barrel out and this barrel out. And that is one of the blasters for his, uh, vehicle mode. Now, if you want to give him a handheld blaster, what you can actually do is you can fold this out right here and fold this all the way around. And I did that wrong. I am so sorry. There we go. Um, oh no, I didn't do it wrong. I'm sorry. All right, there we go. Uh, he's got a little, um, handheld blaster that folds out just like that. Basically you, um, have the barrels folded out from his, from when it's in his, uh, from the, when it attaches as his vehicle mode. And then you just fold this all the way out and then fold down the grip right here. And now he has a handheld blaster just like that. As for this canister, uh, this actually has a couple of barrels and ordinarily it's flipped out just like this for when he's in his vehicle mode. What you'll do is you'll flip out the other barrel and flip out this, this purple piece right here to give it a third barrel. It can be a little difficult because of how tiny these are here. Let's flip out this piece first and then we'll try and there we go. We'll flip out that right there. And now he has, and this is, it can also be a handheld blaster or if you want, you can actually mount it in sound on sound wave shoulder, just like this. So uh, it's not the easiest thing to mount, but there is a shoulder cannon for sound wave. And then he has his handheld blaster right here. So there's what he looks like with his two weapons right there. And now what I'll do is I'll show you how to transform Laserbeak. So like I said, Laserbeak typically rests inside Soundwave's chest. And the uh, Cyber Key gimmick will actually work in both his uh, alt mode and his vehicle mode. So you don't have to worry about it. Um, if you turn him around you'll see that you still have a very clear view of his cyber key port right there. Uh, but we're not going to put him in there. We're actually just going to go ahead and transform him. So for laser beak, he's actually pretty interesting. He's got a lot of hinge joints on here. What you'll do is you'll flip out this piece and flip out this piece, flip out all these little wing pieces for his feathers. So we got one, two, and then three, and then we have a fourth one right here. So there's there's what he looks like with his wings. It looks like a little bat. <laughs> and then we'll flip out his tail feathers and then flip up his head, just like that. And then we'll flip down his legs and we'll flip his toes all the way around, just like this. Just like that. And there we have laser beak. And what I like is that you can either set laser beak on Soundwave's arm, but I like to actually put laser beak right here up on a little his little perch that he has on top of Soundwave. So he can sit on Soundwave's wing just like that. But anyway, so there is Soundwave and laser beak transformed and ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and move him off to the side and now we're going to bring Sideways back in. All right. So like I said, Sideways' vehicle mode is that of a uh, really interesting starship. Um, and like I showed you with his uh, cyber key, uh, you can actually activate this. Now, in order to transform him, what we're actually going to do is we're going to pull that piece back up again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come right here and we're going to pop these pieces off just like this. And we're going to pull them out to the side just like this. Now he looks like an even more intimidating starship. 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to flip him over and we're going to bring this whole section down just like this. And we're going to fold these together on this hinge right here because this is going to form sideways waist. And then what we'll do is we'll bring this up. We'll straighten his legs and then turn them. So bring it up, straighten it, turn it, and we'll flip them over. Excuse me. And the next thing we'll do is we're going to flip these out to the side just like this, bring them down, and fold them down to his side just like that. So we'll flip it around, bring it, excuse me, bring it down, and flip it down to the side just like that. The next thing we'll do is we're going to come right here. We're going to flip up his foot and flip out his heel just like that. So there we have his leg ready to go. We're going to come over here. We're going to do the exact same thing. Flip that out. Flip that down. And there we have the sideways legs ready to go. Now the next thing we're going to do, and this is actually pretty interesting. What we'll do at first is we're going to pull this back in order to... Oh, actually first we got to fold this arm out first. I apologize. And then we'll fold this back and flip out the other arm just like that. So the next thing we'll do is we'll bring this all the way back up and then bring it all and then bring it halfway down and you have a pin right here that will click into this hole right here and that will form sideways waist that was a tongue twister all right so the next thing we'll do is we have his shoulders up where they need to go we'll bring his arms straight we'll turn it and then we'll bring this piece right here and we'll bring it flat against his arm and then turn it around just like that and then he does have an elbow joint which is nice the next thing we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll bring his other arm down and we'll bring his turn, give it a quarter turn. And there we have his other arm ready to go. The next thing we'll do is we'll take this whole section. You'll see that it's on a hinge right here. Just bring this all the way down behind him just like that because that is si sideways back. And then finally, we'll grab right here and we'll pop open the canopy to reveal his head. We'll bring his head up, back, and then turn it around and then close up the canopy. And there is Sideways. Now, honestly, I think it's interesting how tiny Sideways is compared to Soundwave since they were relatively the same size in the show. Um, I'm pretty, I'm positive that I did get the uh, the um, Voyager class for, Star for uh, Sideways. But either way, it's a pretty cool figure, especially with the way his visor looks. He looks, su he definitely looks like a, a character you would not want to mess with. Um, but anyway, so to get back on track, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you his weapon mode, his weapons. So where his wings are, these will actually come off and we'll take both of them off just like that. And what you can do is you can either have him, whoops, sorry, so, sorry, sideways, messed up your foot there. There we go. All right. So now, uh, these are just really, really thin or really light plastic. Now what you can actually do is you can either have them with one sword or you could actually put both ends, both grips of the swords in one hand to give him what honestly looks like a Klingon Batleth from uh, Star Trek. So what we'll do is we'll put one blade underneath his hand and one blade on top of his hand. And now he has a Batleth. <laughs> and then with his uh, shield... You can also reinsert the cyber key and deploy his uh, the uh, wings on that to definitely give him more of an intimidation factor when he's in when he's fighting. But anyway, guys, so there we have the 2005 Transformer Cybertron Soundwave and Sideways. If you guys have any other ideas for other Transformers you'd like me to try and do, feel free to comment below, even hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and I will do what I can to help you out as we go. And until then, bye.